Got him. That's a decent one. Oh, come here. What's going on, y'all? We are back out here getting ready to target down on some more sheep's head. We got some juicy looking structure all around us. Should be a lot of sheep's head in the area, but check it out. Today's video is a little bit different. We are going to be using these cheap crabs that I got off of Team U. These guys were like $2.50 a piece, $2.50 a piece, and we're going to see if we can catch sheep's head on these guys. All right, so y'all have seen me throw these crank of crabs right here, and I've had some really, really good success. However, these crank of crabs are $20 a piece. They come out of Australia, and it takes a little while to get them to you, a couple of weeks through shipping. Um, however, the last time I did a video using the crank of crabs, I had a few people mention that there were some really, really cheap crabs that were similar to the crank of crab uh, on Timu. So I was able to go on through there and I just searched crab lures and strolled through a couple of pages and I came across to this guy right here. So not a bad looking lure. Uh, this is the smallest one that I could find, which is a little bit bigger than I would like for it to be. Obviously sheep's head have really, really tiny mouths. So I'll be interested to see if these work. Uh, the one thing that I do like is that they do have sponge claws. So once that crab gets on the bottom, those claws should be floating up and hopefully trigger those street, uh, sheep's head to bite them. So yeah, that's pretty much our crab lure that we got right there. to see if it catches something. Well, starting off here, we just got all these little uh, pods of structure. I am going to start off using the cranker crab. And the reason I'm gonna start off using cranker crab is that we know that this lure is tried and true. So we're gonna see if we can get something to bite this one. Uh, once we can catch one or two on this lure, we will switch over to the Timu crab and use it. All right, first cast going out. Wasn't a good first cast. Have to get that line wet so I can get it up in those pylons a good little ways. There we go. Oh, we're on. We're on. There we go. First fish on the drop. That's a good feeling fish right there. Yep. Yep. That's a big one. Come here. Is that a that that, that doesn't feel like a sheep's head. I just threw it right next to that piling and I felt my line twitch after it hit the bottom and I think that's going to be a sheep's head. If it is, it's a good one. Come here. Yeah. What a way to start y'all. Did not, did not take long at all. Threw a couple of casts on the other side over there and realized that the current was kicking my butt. So I had to come around on this side and on our first pod, we do have a fish on the cranker crab. Boom! Look at that stud. I mean, that is a good sheep's head right there. What a way to kick the day off. Boom, y'all. Let's go. Gotta love catching these guys on artificials. It's not something that a lot of people do because it can be a lot tougher than if you just had regular old fiddler crabs. And I'm just gonna say it, you cannot beat fiddler crabs or even live shrimp for catching sheep's head. But if you're like me and you just like catching fish on artificial lures, the cranker crab gets it done. I'm not sponsored by these guys at all. I pay full price for these lures just like anybody else would have to, but they just work. There she is, y'all. That is a healthy 19, maybe even 20 inch sheep's head right there. Beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, I'm not keeping any fish today. So this guy will be throwing, being thrown back. Now, sheep's head are very, very good to eat. However, I have plenty of fish back home. No need for me to keep more than I can eat. So we'll see you later, dude. Get a little bit bigger for us. <laughs> yeah let's go y'all i will also state that i do have some scent on me if i need to use it but i have not put any scent on these lures yet but 
just gonna let that crank a crab get all the way down to the bottom once i feel like it's there just give it a couple little twitches let it fall back down really with these crabs that foam claw kind of sits down on the bottom in that current we're on we're on <clears throat> not as big as the last one i don't think oh never mind never mind she's digging she just didn't know she was hooked come on mm. i mean we have not that might be our fourth cast right there back to back cast another good sheep's head But yeah, you really don't have to move or twitch that lure a whole lot. There we go. The current kind of does the work for you, moving those claws around. All right, and there she is, y'all. Sheep's head number two, another beautiful, beautiful sheep's head. Bye-bye. All right, y'all, well, since we caught two back-to-back, -back, they could be stacked in here and we could possibly be in a good feeding window so i decided to go ahead and throw the timu crab in there two dollars and fifty cents super cheap throw it down there see if we can get bit we give it a couple of casts with that and then we'll swap back over to the cranker crab and really just try to dial in and see obviously which one's more effective and uh we really just want to see if this cheap crab, uh oh, something bit it. I just got bit, but I didn't connect. It's a heavier crab, much heavier crab than I'm used to. Yeah. Whoa, come on now. Waves are getting crazy. Yeah, we'll give it a couple casts with the Timu crab and see what happens. So, been about 10 minutes or so, have not picked up a bite or fish on the timu crab yet so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put a little bit of scent on these claws i'm only gonna put it on the claws so something can maybe key in and bite at that claw right there i mean the claws are floating up like it's supposed to Let's see just gotta catch us a fish on it got them that one came on the cranker crab been throwing the old timu crab all up and down these pylons i think i might have got one little small bite but i don't think it was a sheep's head and i just put the cranker crab back on through in here and hooked up on our third crab i will say that i think the bite was really really good on that one pylon that we first stopped at it has definitely been a little bit slower but so far i'm not really impressed with the cheap crab compared to to this one all right sheep said number three little guy bye bye all right y'all so we're not having a bad morning out here at all there's our third sheep said we've been at it for probably about 45 minutes or so swapping some things up uh but if y'all like this type of content right here be sure to hit that subscribe button. I got a ton of awesome sheep's head content coming y'all's way. Uh, using things like lures that you've never seen before. Other baits, I got a lot of really, really good stuff planned. As soon as it gets a little bit colder, I'm gonna pull out some live bait that you've never seen used before for sheep's head as well as other artificial. So to make sure y'all get to see that, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, let's get back in here and see if we can find some more fish. All right, let's see if we can get us another one on a cranker crab real quick. Got him. He chased it. Oh, that's a stud. That is a stud right there. I saw that one chase it all the way to the boat, and I slowed it down just a little bit, just on like a little straight retrieve, and he came up and smoked it. Come here. That's a big one. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that stud! Look at that one! <laughs> that one's going on the measuring board, y'all. Uh-oh. Don't get my feet. Don't get my feet. 
fourth sheep's head for the cranky crab, zero for the Timu crab. Y'all look at this beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm gonna stick her on board. I think, I think she's gonna go over 20 for sure. Man, what a beautiful fish. Mm, chill, chill, chill. Relax. If y'all didn't know, these fish right here, yeah, look at that. 21 and a quarter. <laughs> Let's go, y'all. Anyways, like I was saying, if y'all didn't know, these fish have extremely sharp fins if they're flopping around in the kayak and you got your feet exposed and they flop down and hit you they are going to draw blood they also have some gnarly teeth in there that they use to eat barnacles and shells and oysters and stuff off the side of these pylons but they are just some brute tanks of a fish and uh this is this is a big one right here y'all 21 inches Probably somewhere around seven pounds or so. Six, seven pound fish. Bye bye. Let's go y'all. All right y'all, so I got a question for y'all. This is a question that I asked last year, but we got a whole lot of new viewers this year and it was a really fun comment section. But I wanna know from y'all, what is the weirdest thing that you've ever used to catch a fish? Doesn't have to be a sheep's head, it could be anything, catfish, bass, speckled trout, whatever. I wanna know what the craziest thing you've ever used to catch a fish. All right, well, we have now caught four fish on the cranker crab. So this is what we're gonna do. I am gonna throw this Timu crab for one hour. Okay, I'm gonna bounce around, fishing all over the place, just continues to throw it for one hour. At the end of that hour, if we don't get any bites, we know that it's the crab and it's just not a good option for these fish. All right, y'all, well, it has been about 45 minutes and nothing has changed with this crab. We're sitting in about 15, 16 foot of water right here. And I'm looking at it as I'm flicking it, kind of bring it back to me. And it's just kind of all over the place in the current. It doesn't really look like a crab should look. And if there's anything I know about sheep's head, they have incredible eyesight. I'm pretty sure they're just able to look at this and be like, nah, not today. You know, I even put some scent on it, not getting any bites on it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this crab up. And I'm going to see if I can get one more on the cracker crab. I got one question for y'all. So we are in, like I said, we're in 15 foot of water, a little bit deeper. Um, if y'all would like to see me use this same crab to go target redfish, get this video to... Let's say 1,200 likes. If this video gets to 1,200 likes, then I will take this out there and uh, try to target some redfish and see if this will work in a marsh system. So I found this little old tiny two inch voodoo shrimp in my box and decided rather than continuing to try to go at them with the cranker crab, which we have seen here today has worked, I'm gonna throw the voodoo shrimp two inch. I did put a little bit of shrimp flavored procure on there. Let's give them something a little different and see if they will eat this bait. And I think that will kind of further tell us whether or not the Timu crab is a definite no-go. Got him. That's a decent one. Oh, come here. That's a good feeling heavy fish. Oh, it's a red fish. <laughs> Oh, oh, she ain't even began to run yet. I mean, a redfish that size, I know she's got some runs. She runs, she's gonna take my lure from me. <laughs> Come here. Don't do me dirty. Yeah, there she goes. Now she knows she's hooked. <laughs> Come on. Uh-uh. Don't go that way. All right, we're going to have to hoss her a little bit. I can't let her get me around one of them pylons. Uh, we're safe for now. 
Look at that beautiful fish. Get my grips ready. I'm not going to put her in a net. I'm just going to grip her and pull her over. I do believe that is an above slot fish, which is so crazy because it's not crazy that that fish was down there. We catch a lot of redfish out here. But what's crazy, now she's running. But for the water to be as cool as it is, a fish that size should have a lot more spunk. And I can feel a bridge piling. All right, come on. <clears throat> come here. I mean, typically a fish like this will just dog on us and break us off almost immediately. She's got some runs, but they're slow runs. Which is good for us. I do believe we're gonna be able to land this fish. It's looking that way. <laughs> it could change though. She gets me up around that piling. Come on. All right, yeah, go that way, go that way. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Definitely horsing on her a lot more than I would if I was out in a marsh system or something like that. Man, look at that fish. Yeah, that's a 30-inch redfish. Something close to it, 29, 30 for sure. There we go. I am going to net her just because she's right there. Boom. All right. Yeah. She's heavy. Whoo. <laughs> and there's the fish for the voodoo right there. What an amazing morning it has been out here, y'all. Oh, man, that is a short and heavy fish. I say short, obviously. It's a good bull red. But for her thickness, she's short. Get the old measuring board out here. Just a flipper up here and see what we're looking at. Y'all, and she is chewed up too. Oh, she's scarred. She is not a, a pretty red. All right, she's about 30 inches. We're gonna go ahead and let her go. She is something that's taking a big old whack at her tail right there. All right, girl. I appreciate that bite. Bye bye. Yeah. Check it out, y'all. If y'all want to know where we are fishing at today, I am going to do a full Google Earth breakdown of this entire trip where we launched from, the conditions we were fishing under, the area we fished, everything you need to know to be able to come out here and do this exact same thing will be available to y'all on my Patreon channel. I'm gonna link that up here as well as down in the description. So if y'all wanna know where we're at, just click on the uh, Patreon link. That is a $20 a month subscription. However, uh, it gives you access to over a hundred video breakdowns to show y'all all around uh, the Mobile Bay and surrounding areas, Mississippi, some of Florida, all sorts of stuff on there. So be sure to go over there and check that out. Uh, that does help support me uh, put out content like this to y'all. Real quick, I'm gonna show y'all the setup that I was using uh, to catch all of these fish today. So the rod that I'm using is a Chubby Rods 7.2 medium fast. Uh, this is obviously a spinning setup. Uh, it is what I prefer to use anytime I'm targeting sheep's head. This is my go-to rod. They're about 130 bucks. Uh, I'll have them linked down below if y'all wanna check them out. But they're great rods. Um, the reel that I've been using is a Shimano Stratic 2500, and I have that paired up with 15 pound braided mainline to a, I started off with a longer leader. Uh, I prefer about a three or four foot uh, fluorocarbon leader. It's pretty chewed up right there too. Uh, but yeah, it's 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, typically around three or four foot. All right, y'all, well, that pretty much concludes today's episode. I do hope y'all enjoyed 
this content i enjoyed coming out here and catching these fish always amazing i love catching these sheep's head they put up an excellent fight and when you can find an area that's holding them you just have non-stop action all day long so pretty fun day hope y'all enjoyed the content if y'all did leave a like comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time